Winnipeg Jets are in town to square off against the Montreal Canadiens tonight. And Pierre-Luc Dubois, yes, this Pierre-Luc Dubois right here, is going to be taking advantage of this opportunity by chatting with the Montreal media to inaugurate the Pierre-Luc Dubois Foundation. Now, for those of you that don't know, this was actually the Vincent LeCavalier Foundation, and its purpose is to support young kids in small communities throughout Quebec that want to play hockey. You know what I mean? It's a nice gesture. There's quite a few pro athletes now that are doing this sort of thing. And whether you like Dubois or not, this is something that I can really get behind. 100% he sounds like a nice guy. Look at him. Isn't that great? Guy's a beauty. And it's kind of funny because when this hit Twitter yesterday, it was like throwing a full pack of Mentos and a two liter bottle of Diet Coke or Pepsi, whatever it is, because it exploded. Ah, because his charity work is in Quebec. You see, Habs fans began talking smack, even some Jets fans felt like this had some kind of a subliminal message behind it. But I gotta say, I don't think it means Jack Diddley squat. I'm not saying Dubois is never going to play for the Montreal Canadiens because I don't know that. But what I am saying is that this whole Pierre-Luc Dubois foundation that he's sitting up is not concrete evidence that he's going to play here. It wasn't for Vinny Le Cavalier and it won't be for Dubois either. But seeing, you know, that he's in town and everybody's going cuckoo for Coco Puffs about this guy, let's go ahead and bring up the man's statistics on display here because all Pierre has been an absolute force for the Winnipeg Jets this season. As it stands at the time recording this video, the only player on that team with more points than him right now is Cal Connor. Dubois has got 20 goals, 29 assists in just 44 games so far this season, meaning he's on pace to have the best season of his career. And I think a lot of people seem to forget he's just a pup. He's as young as Yager, okay? And if the Jits somehow manage to lose Dubois to free agency when he becomes available, then that's gonna be one massive kick in the stones. They traded a steep price just to get this guy in town. And then to turn around and lose him for nothing a couple of years later? <whistles> that would not be good at all. The Jets would feel foolish. Even more foolish than Austin Laffews right here. God, I could watch that clip all day. But anyway, he's in town tonight to play against the Canadians. Keep an eye out for him because he's been as sharp as a hemorrhoid fart out there. Let me know what you think of all this down in the comment section. And hey, I'll see you next time.